This fly stays a little bit higher up, so I'm even less likely to lose it on a stick or some shit unless I do that. Oh shit. Alright, I got something. I think it's a bike, yep. Finally pulled one out of the wood over there. Didn't get the hook up on cam because you gotta be so damn patient. Alright. Little pike. Not too shabby. It's a fish. Swim off. Stinky dude. Oh, bingo. Oh, shit. It's big. I think it's a pike. I always think it's a pike. Yeah, it's a big pike. Ooh. Not that big. Please don't break me off. I knew they'd be hiding in that woody structure. Okay. He's gonna break my fly off. Okay. Pretty heavy though. All right, there's a pike, not bad. Let him go. Swim away. Always happens when you least expect it. Yeah. Oh, it's a pike. Oh, it's a nice pike. Whoa, boy. What is that? Is that a pike? I think it's a nice trout. What the heck? That is a nice brown. Oh man. Awesome. Awesome alert. Don't get wrapped up, dude. Is that a pike or brown? fighting like a trout but something tells me it's a pike it is a nice ass brown holy shit holy crap holy crap pb brown pb brown is this my first 20 i got a net that measures length 19 Holy crap. All right, we measured 10. Holy crap, I'm saying 19 and a half. He's burping. Oh yeah, holy shit. All right, come on, just wanna get you out. Can't get you out. Come on, dude. Oh my God. Can we just pick it up? Holy crap. 
19 and a half. All right, all right. Oh my God. Dude, it's sitting right there. Oh man. Oh shit. I better have been recording. I'm waiting. I think something's gonna happen. Boom. Oh man. There it is. Oh, I'll tighten up my drag a little bit. I think it's a steelhead. Or a pike. Oh, is it a pike? I always think it's a pike. I'm saying it's not a pike. It's brown. Got this. Oh, this eight way is noise. All right, come here. Time to come in. Oh, it might be the same fish. Oh, shit. Fit in my net. Oh, man. It's healthier looking if it is. Holy crap. Man. Might be. It's been a couple of weeks. I'll compare the markings. Oh boy. Nice fish. Might be the same fish I caught a couple weeks ago. All right, dude. All right. Sick. Ha <laughs> Ow. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll compare side by side the tapes. We can look at the markings and see if it's the same fish. This one's just slightly shorter, but it is looking a little bit healthier than the last one, so it could have been pecking on the pounds after the spawn. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Whoa. 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 Big jumping fish. Whoa. Whoa, it's a steelhead. Whoa. Oh man. Don't get off. Oh shit. Oh man. He's probably all wrapped up by now. Oh shit, that was crazy. That was crazy. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Oh, he's in and he's, she's heavy. Look at that fish. Oh man. Okay, off you go. Oh man, okay, all right, you're good, you're good. <clears throat> all right, so I'm kind of gonna just release my, the end of 2020 fishing in two parts, cause otherwise it was like nearly 40 minutes long and uh, it's kind of a long video, so. <clears throat> I, in part one, caught my new PB Brown and um, I did see something kind of scary as soon as I let the fish go. I walked down about 12 feet and I saw red. And I said, oh my God, fishing is a spawning trout. I'm a jerk. And then when I held the fish in my hands, it did feel pretty skinny. And you can see and think it looks pretty skinny. It's post-spawn. But I still had questions because I thought that they spawn in the fall. So um, <clears throat> I reached out to the fisheries biologist with Watershed. And he said that in this section of the river, there has been some... Uh, trout that spawn pretty late in the season and it's not uncommon for them to do that in December or even January maybe 
and uh, but this section of the river, the whole river, in fact, is uh, it's pretty. It's it's in like so many sections of it are in a downtown area where it's just like a concrete jungle, so it's really prone to flash flooding and stuff like that. So reds that exist in that part of the river um, aren't the survivability is really low. So he says, uh, you know, it's nice that I care and I don't want a fish spawning uh, fish, but the the survival rate of these are uh, of those eggs and stuff is really non-existent he said most likely so most of the brown trout um, are going to find their ways to the tributaries of the river to do their spawning and those are closed for fishing so that's why they do that and that all makes sense you know trout are amazing they they get out in the main stem and they hang around and they do what they want we're just people trying to lock them in you know they the steelhead and they jump over a dam and they go where they're not supposed to go so it's just all pretty funny, us people trying to tell these fish what to do.